position. We're ready for a take two. Let's get this cookout. Southern 500 going again. Let's do it. Huge crowd here in Martinsville. And we're back to our show. I need some relief. I know he's taking it. Jeff Gordon just got a little back bumper damage on this restart as we go back at it. Stay with us here, Kale. Call for Wallace and Larson. All right. Appreciate you being here. Gordon got his back bumper beat in, beat in on the restart. We'll Chase Briscoe in that, in that black second. and white high point. Nose. Ford right wow, behind. Here he comes Tyler Reddick. The 2311 cars are on the charge. Uh, and that begs the question, what kind of a role will Tyler Reddick rear. play in helping his I'll teammate one, make the playoffs like tonight? In, in you know, if something's going He'll happen, help to uh, a point. But he uh, wants to be great himself. And I think you're going to see this right here as he gets the back bumper. Yeah, I think Reddick, he knows what's at stake for the 23. Boss man here, Michael Jordan, he attempted to see. Kevin Harvick. I don't think he can I'm see. You know, when MJ <laughs> got into the sport, Martin, we knew he was an NASCAR fan. But this is the guy that's in so many business Yeah, this isn't a place that you want to uh, have a wounded race car. Yeah, he has so many different things. Robert Taylor, he comes to a lot of races, not just on Sunday, car, on a Saturday, qualifying. You'll see him standing out on pit road. It shocks you know, they me talked about to have one of the most famous, if not the most famous sports figure in the world, be so consistent in the NASCAR drive. Maybe he got a piece of joke. I think he may have a... Chase Young, it teammate like the Denny Hamlin, was who has just an unmatched thing. record in this field, Jeff. At Darlington Mark Raceway, is trying to look he is the it. best of this current crop Let's of see if we can every see exactly what might have happened on the restart that caused night. all it these problems. It can't be Denny's night. Denny has the, gear. the mentality that's needed well, in this racetrack. Like a bunch of guys just checked out to attack the racetrack, but not step over it. See, Reddick, there's the back pressure. A little bit higher entry into one. A lot better back there than the front so of these we're cars. We're going to see the, the lanes change yeah, throughout this night. Medic does a really nice job of approaching the corner. There's Lopez got hit by Jeff. Just against the wall. That helps this car. See how close Had he is? Had any damage on the 17 car? Watch BP what jumped the on the radio and asked his team to that look at the grill. Not to see if there's any damage. Much. Just the water is there's starting to climb up the center. over 230 right now. It's a little better right now. It looks OK. We'll have to start pulling tape on that first stop. Right on board the Hendrick cars. It certainly looks OK. Chevy for the man who led 50. Five All right, while all that's been going on, Rusty Wallace has come out of the Infield Medical Center. Let's hear from we'll him, We'll get Marty. back to that. Let's, let's hear happened. from Kim Coon with Ryan Blaney. About four or five cars spun yeah, right Ryan Blaney, part of that incident we with Martin Truex Jr. We heard you talk about your arm or your hand. Are tight, you okay? And what happened? Went in and all of a sudden yeah, I saw right. three cars uh, spin and I was up top yeah, of the no, racetrack. I, 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 I saw Martin get loose and uh, kind of hit the 24. I thought he was going to spin to the, the, the bottom. And uh, so I kind of guessed up to get around the bottom. I'll be surprised to that six car here Terrible pretty soon. Time he overcorrected and we were right there. So just obviously. falling back through the field a good bit. They can use a monster flag. They just don't want to be it. It's one of those things. I think he's going to spin to the Freaky bottom, Craven, and then Dale Earnhardt is really there, 32 and 8, 4th so and 5th spots. I hate it for everybody, but ours and Ford, I really thought our car was great, and just didn't even get a run any laps, but um, hopefully next week goes a little bit better. cars in the garage awfully early here, don't we? Great to hear Sterling from Sterling Marlin took his car directly to the garage area, Dale Jarrett. They, 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 they tried to fix his car on pit road, as Kale said, took his to the garage area. I thought it was one of the best cars in practice as well, we'll just never know. Ryan Newman leads through all of this. Carson Hosevar is 77. Third. Here we go for fourth. Running well. That last one time, he started on the front row. Now Craven back to fifth. Was in the Truck Series last year. Behind him, the host at Miami Speedway. Sadler's got a good run. Had a good run coming out too. And and great Craven had to check up a little bit. That. So I wonder if the same trend continues the same Elliot for the youngster, spot. for the 21-year-old here tonight in Darlington. And Ken's are trying to get there, so trying to get Ryan there. Blaney, and Kim, tell and us about the Martin Truex side of the story. Wow, yeah, Martin nice Truex Jr. out of the care center, out of the race. First of all, we heard Kale you say you get on the radio, clarify what you were talking about and what happened. So tough, and what it means uh, clearly me. Uh, you are from yeah, it was, this it was all my fault, all my doing. And uh, win five Southern uh, five yeah, just, oh, I got a run on the 24 and went to the inside and thought everything was going fine and the car just took off and I ran into him. So obviously that was on me and uh going up 20 miles from here and i hate it for my guys at bass pro shops and toyota everybody we had a phenomenal well, race car and i know this is the longest uh, like the longest race of the year i don't care um, for just a dumb mistake on my part win here. this is your last uh, full-time season in the cup series right now as it stands you are Bobby not a part of the playoff picture there. describe That's the emotions attached spots. to that because you have to race yeah, the racetrack first and worry about the cars later absolutely you know we just we've had a miserable two months best car is nothing to show for and again, and again tonight, you know, tonight was all me, so sorry to my team and all the guys that worked so hard. Jeff Gordon and Bobby Labonte here now. How about Bobby Labonte, Bill? 
Uh, just over the radio from Bobby Classic to his crew. Race. I you hope know, it doesn't is, mean anything, but something sounds times, funny. The worst of times. Referring There's to always perhaps been a, class a possible miss in the end. To us and the media be good. Uh, Mark taking Mark ownership of this in. issue right here. Took his car to the garage area, so not in the pit road. That's in always a bad sign. Junior going to the front, battle for third. And we just kind of have to wait to see much like Truex to see if he's got all the fans on their feet. Now it's up to guys like Busher to see if Truex advances. The fight for seventh position. So Dale Earnhardt Jr. up to third Between spot now. Meantime, the, the growing won, roster the of drivers in the garage. Marty. The yeah, we had a little triage Toyota's going on down here. Field. Alan Sterling, Marlon, what Wallace, happened? Tyler Reddick. I don't know. I don't know. He's got a gear. narrow margin. On the restart of the Kyle Larson in this early run. He took off as normal Talking and uh, the got third gear. They just jammed the brakes on the stop. No one had a lot of speed on the early part of the run. Everybody just hit each other. Started with like a 24-hour run. They were not good on the long run. And the 16 We'll see. You know, what's one thing to do that? 16, he hit him, I 16, I think somebody hit him. So, uh, still out, out the track's going to continue to cool down as this night goes on. Track. But and as you guys mentioned, Mark Martin you know, pulled his car into the garage as well. Is there and also the long run speed water or steam out of the other four cars. On the left, that playoff bubble, that's what Wallace leading right now. So the one-word summation of the early laps of the Southern 500 for a lot of these racers. The Truex, Bushman, Chastain situation. Even more precarious. Dave Blaney trying to get a spot for Bobby the Body. That's 11th place. Completely, but we saw Harrison Burton a week ago. Okay. Well, what have you been up Why to these not? days? Oh, man, Why not? Why not? Uh, There's uh, other damage. Most cars are running six. Yeah, He's playoff so eligible if he won this race. Children, they won on the way, and boy, Let's I not discount the, Eric Jones, the two-time <laughs> winner here. This is great to see. You look like you could jump in one of these cars and give him a fight for it. The biggest mover in the field so far is up in I'll tell you what, Benny, I think this is the first lap I ever made. I mean, Lexi Motor Club will admit they've switched to Toyota. They're still trying to improve this back a little bit. The couple of them used to boo you, didn't they? You me a little bit. Still yeah. surprised you because it does I'll mean that Eric Jones shows up to Darlington and, and, and the light switch just flips. How can it just be? I don't want to use the word easy, but this straightforward for this driver. He knows he exactly really what he will wants. He knows exactly what he 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 wants. He's not going to push too hard, get himself in trouble typically. And that's kind of Eric Jones, right? I mean, if you think about the success he's had in this sport, he's a very consistent race car driver. And he loves the racetrack. Kelly Yarbrough, three-time NASCAR here, Winston Cup champion, like five-time Southern They just simply say, I don't like winner. this facility. Eric has always Dale Jarrett behind the wall. Tell us DJ, and part of the reason before that, as he said, ever since I started coming here, I just like the way that I was able to adapt to the way the track changes, the way that the uh, feel of the car will change over time. It was just always very comfortable to me. And then when he won, remember he's only won three times in the series, two out of three have been here. Yeah, that just adds to that comfort level. When I talked to him before the race, he said we got close in practice, but a bad starting spot because of a mistake I made in practice. So good to see that he's that big mover. Marty? Dave, I'm fascinated by the point that Lee brought up a moment. A moment ago with Tyler Reddick, his teammate Bubba Wallace is right in front of him, currently leading the race. Right but now, Jeff, how would you approach this race if we you were about Tyler Reddick? All the time. You're also fighting you know, for a regular like season about, championship. Happen, By the way, you're closest yeah, competitor for that. Is, I'm oh, behind you with Kyle you Larson. Work your so would you help your way teammate as much as you could? If something happens, you're going to be in it a lot of times. If Dale Jarrett started 19, I'm sure that you'll be out there racing right now. Terry Labonte's out there racing. I'm not going to do it. Bubba Wallace has a way to do it, but if I can get track of the show and drive away from him, that's what I'm going to do. That's what I can tell you to do. I can tell you to win championships. That's why he was hired to do that. Winning the regular season championship will go a long way to help him make it happen. Yes, the full he attention is. of Michael Jordan. Jordan. Just getting around Joe Nemechek, who's a couple of laps down. He's now within about a second of Terry Labonte. Ryan Newman is the leader, though, 29 laps in to the Mountain Dew Southern 500.